I've just had possibly my biggest AI breakthrough yet. I'm really excited to share this new method with you. What we're going to be doing today is creating a custom GPT for any process. In this way, we're going to be turning ChatGPT into some very powerful automation software. This will be especially useful for entrepreneurs and marketers who are looking to save time, save money, iterate and improve faster, and gain efficiencies. And they even say that someday these GPTs will be able to generate revenue for you. So I think this is a skill that's going to be very valuable going forward. If you've struggled to create a custom GPT that's useful, then you're not alone. I have experimented with them quite a bit, and while they are a lot of fun, they often and fall down when you're trying to put them in production and really get some good use out of them. For me, I feel like this was the case because I was often going too broad with what I was creating. But I've learned if we can focus them into a step-by-step -step process, they can become incredibly useful. If you think about it, it's a lot like designing a video game. If you're creating a video game where you can go in any direction, it's very difficult. But if you're creating a video game where you simply go from one level to the next, it's much easier. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I want to show you how to create a custom GPT that builds PPC campaigns. Those are pay-per-click campaigns for both Google and Facebook following a step-by-step -step process. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world. My goal is to provide you with practical AI skills to drive profitability and business success. If you're enjoying these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a link in the description to that. It includes tons of extra resources, cheat sheets to my videos, and a whole lot more. So there's three steps to getting this done. The first one is creating a prompt sequence that includes all of the prompts you need to get whatever process you're trying to automate done. Then we're going to convert that prompt sequence into a set of GPT instructions that can be used inside of a custom GPT. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video. I'll show you how to automate this step. Finally, we will be testing and deploying this GPT. The first step is to create a prompt sequence, and these are two prompts that have helped me create these sequences. The first one, please list the detailed steps for whatever process you're trying to automate. And then following that up with asking the large language model, in this case, ChatGPT, to create prompts for each one of those steps. And here's what that looks like for today's example. I went through those, I edited them a little bit, and I came up with this list of prompts that has been very helpful for creating PPC campaigns. And next we need to convert that prompt sequence into the instructions that we're going to be using in the custom GPT. Some helpful ways to think about that are to just get a feel for the main ideas, make sure they're going in the proper order, and then adding these check-in points or these feedback loops. I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second. That. Uh, prompts the custom GPT to ask the user, hey, am I going in the right direction? Which of these do you like, etc.?" And builds a little bit of that back and forth as the custom GPT is completing whatever uh, task you're looking for it to complete. So once again, here's the prompt sequence for creating the PPC campaign. And you can see here how I have converted this into these uh, custom instructions that we can use with these GPTs. So it basically starts with you will take the copy that the user uploads and perform the following steps on it. Step one, come up with four campaign ideas. Return these to the user and ask which of these they'd like to proceed with for the next step, which is creating the customer profile. And then it just works through all of these. And after each step, asking the user, hey, am I going in the right direction? Which of these do you like the most, etc." So you can begin to think through it. And sometimes as you're testing, you can build out these little interaction points. So it's taking those prompts putting them in a sequential order that makes sense and adding these little tags in between that discuss how the custom GPT should return the specific information and how it should interact with the user going into the next step. I'll include all of this in the cheat sheet. There's a link to that in the description for my Patreon supporters. Now that we have these instructions, we can just pop this in and very easily create our custom GPT. So I'm going to copy and paste these. We'll hop into ChatGPT4, this is the plus paid version. Click Explore, click up here, create a GPT. We're going to skip this builder, this create tab. Um, I have another video all about mistakes, and I think this is what leads most people to many frustrations is this create tab. We're going straight to the configure tab. We're going to paste these instructions in here just as is. We're going to name this PPC Campaign Creator. We're going to add a quick description. 
This description doesn't have anything to do with the way the custom GPT operates, but it is a good way to tell the user how to begin. And that is it. That is all we need. So now we can move on to the step three, which is testing and iterating. So this is a landing page for an AI coaching program that I'm working on. I'm just going to copy everything, select everything, copy it, and I'm going to paste it back here in our PPC campaign creator. Just as is, you can see, very messy. And you can see here it's generated this copy here. These are the four different campaign ideas. I think these are pretty solid. Now it asks which of these campaign ideas would you like to proceed with creating an ideal customer profile. That's the next step in the process. I'm going to say all of these are good. And now it's generating some ICPs, ideal customer profiles for these different campaigns. What's beautiful here is if you run into problems, you can just edit your instructions right here. I think that there is some real genius to the way that this is laid out. So you don't need to jump back and forth between uh, updating your instructions and testing. Now it says, would you like to proceed with step three? Yes, I would. This is giving us all the demographics, behaviors, interests that can be very useful for targeting. Awesome. These look good. Obviously, you can tweak these. You can dive into one in particular. You can um, tell it that it needs to be adjusted in a certain way based on your knowledge. But let's just proceed with step four, looking at keywords. And here it is generating key different keywords for these different campaigns. You can then drop these into whatever tool that you use. If you're a marketer, you're probably familiar with SEM Rush or Ahrefs, so you can double check some of these, but these will for sure get you started in the right direction as far as keyword ideas go. Now it asks, would you like to generate the Google ads, which was our step five. And here are the Google ads based on the character counts. It looks like it's doing a good job on the character counts. Sometimes it struggles with that, but those are all in the instructions. The context window has gotten much larger recently, which is really amazing. Would you like it to continue with the rest of the Google ads remaining two campaigns? That's nice. I like that it stopped there and it didn't try to just create bad or truncated campaigns. Um, I'm going to just say, let's skip to the next step. Step six is to create the Facebook ads, which have slightly different uh, character counts and formats for the copy. Obviously, you're going to need to find some images for these as well. I would suggest using Mid Journey for that, as I've had the best luck with that, or, you know, looking at different stock images as well. But this is not necessarily a video about PPC campaign creation, it's more about this process of uh, building these custom GPTs. Now we're watching it go into step seven generating the landing page. Pretty decent landing page, definitely a few things that I would tweak here. And I might do that actually in the instructions themselves. And this is the final step here, creating this video script that can be used in the ads or potentially on the landing page itself. And this gives full directions, the copy, as well as ideas on the visuals here. It asks us, would you like any adjustments or is there anything else you need? So now we've walked through that complete step-by-step -step process and I'll link to that custom GPT in the description. But these are the steps we went through. Prompt sequence, created the instructions, we've tested it. And to deploy it, you can just uh, share that publicly. You can share it with people, uh, only people that have the link or you can keep it to yourself. So I think publicly sharing it means anyone can find it only people with the link uh, is only people that you share it with and then obviously you can keep it private just to yourself if you would like to do that when you are sharing it. Um, one other thing I'd like to show you is that I've actually created a custom GPT to convert the prompt sequence into these GPT instructions. So I'll put a link to this one in the description as well but with this one you can just take your prompt sequence and it will convert it into the instructions. Let me show you how this works. Here's the prompt sequence that we just went through. And again, this is not the instructions. This is just the raw prompt sequence. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to drop this into my prompt sequence GPT instructions generator. And it returns the very instructions that we just went through. So if you have some great prompt sequences that are working for you, feel free to use this instructions generator 
which will turn those into a custom bot for you. All right, thanks for watching. And again, thanks for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world. I love providing comprehensive AI skills with the goal of enhancing your profitability and your business success. If you got something out of this, please consider checking out and supporting me on Patreon. I've got cheat sheets to many, many of my videos. There's dozens of resources in there. I've got some coaching options as well but thanks a ton for watching and as everyone likes to say please like subscribe and comment that stuff really helps and uh, i'd love to hear from you i'd love to hear what you're struggling with what your wins are um you know all that stuff so let me know just do it make your dreams come true just do it